What's good, YouTube? So like anime here, back with some more fruits baskets, and today we have episode 22. Now, bro, we're we're getting close to the season finale, and I, I I don't know how to feel about that. I've been watching fruits baskets since it started, and I've been enjoying the hell out of it. But let's get into the um review the last episode. In the last episode, we basically got how Nijima. We didn't get her backstory, but we got how her life really is, kind of. It's, it's simple. It's simple. She's just an awkward, an awkward kid. She doesn't live in a cemetery or anything like that or a big black castle. She's a regular girl that has regular things, has a awkward regular brother. I don't know if you can call her regular, but she she isn't as, as bad as people make her out to be. You know what I mean? But... Hanijima, um, I'm expecting, I think y'all are expecting a backstory this episode, or I don't know, I didn't, I didn't, I don't never look at the previews for the next episode, so, we might begin her backstory, and I'm looking forward to it, because I want to, I want to see what put her in this state, like, why is she really like this, and when I say like this, I mean, it, does she really have a special power, now I'm I assume that it's just she's able to read people very very well. That's what I assume. But maybe she does have a special power. I don't I, I don't know. I'm I'm just a regular nigga. But we're not gonna talk too much. We're gonna jump right into this episode. Oh, okay, that's exactly who we go straight into, Hanijima. I hate going out as a child. Oh, I already she was the depressed girl. Whoa. Oh, she can, she can read people's minds. I mean, how do y'all think she would be okay with all these people around? And people, all they doing is talking shit about each other in their minds. They, so she was like seeing inside people's heads and realizing how devious people is. And I'm assuming it became to the point where she just didn't trust people until she met, you know, how. I mean, um, yeah. You are, uh, fuck, you are Chan and, um, Haru. I mean, not Haru. Toru. Jesus. Me and names. I mean, it's hard when you, every time you pass somebody. The witch. That's some bullshit. Where the teacher at? What kind of kid is this? Bro, I'll be ah. Uh, these kind of kids get killed in anime, bro. <laughs> like, have you ever watched what's the anime called? Elf and Lead, Elf and Lied. Yeah. Now look at that face, bro. Oh my god. Her backstory is pretty. Did she kill him? She's got superpowers. Did he die or? Oh, wow! She put him in a coma. Dang, I, bro! This, this I didn't think her backstory was this intense. Bro, this backstory is heat though. I ain't gonna lie. Wow. You think they'll leave her alone after that? I would. I wouldn't try to fuck with him. <laughs> we all know how this ended, though. Toru came through like the superhero she is and just made everything better. What? I'll be over there. What? <laughs> People fall. You did it. Oh, she, he trying to. Oh, so he was trying to help her from the jump. What a good little brother. Oh, so she feel like she needs to be punished because of the power she has. And that's the only way. I get it. I don't agree, but I get it. I mean, he was fucking with you. I would rather said that too. So it's okay. 
You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. He probably kind of need to die just a little bit inside, you know? And that's when Toru and you are come in. Bro, I bet, like, you see how it's in black and white, like, saturation a little bit? I bet when they come in, it's just going to get, like, bright. Because, you know, Fruit Basket is a bright anime anyway. So when you see it in this dark, like, just this dark shade, it's kind of different. So y'all going to fuck with it anyway? I think your turn gonna come in this. What? And that's how people is too, bro. That teacher probably know. They know she getting bullied. Okay. Here we go. Anajima. Oh, okay. They kind of threw it back a little bit. There go your chan. Here we go. I bet she like this. Is an awkward group. Hana chan. I guess I'm gonna start calling her Hana. This is easy. I'm not going to eat with you. <laughs> These two are strange. Ah. Uh, dude, oh my god, bro. That's what you look for in friendships, I swear. Your son was short, her. She ain't that bad. Yes, they will. They try to see what you do. Oh, she even started going to their house. That's crazy, bro. That's how life is. Before you know it, you got two best friends. Bro. That's crazy. It's it's amazing, though, bro. The way fruits basket to make you feel. Because I'm feeling just all happy right now. <laughs> To see where she's starting and where she's going. Who smoked? What? Here go to our roof and stand up for her. Wow, she actually did it. So she does have powers, bro. That's crazy. I just thought it was fake. It's really real. I thought people over exaggerating. It's really real. Ratoru. I don't know how Toru does it, bro. She defies logic. <laughs> Oh, she just appeared to God on this person. Like, you never find somebody like that. She doesn't. See, you're trying to get straight to the point. Like, do you want to be with us or you don't? I know you love us. <laughs> yeah, this music is picking up. Yeah, there go that color. I love it, bro. Oh my god. Bro, I enjoyed the hell out of this anime, bro, to the point where he his prayers came too true, bro. God, my meat, bro. <sighs> oh, so this is still do it because all I needed Oh wow. Just to chest his people a bit. Oh, so he wear black just because? I'm in the black, bro. I love the color black. Bro. Yeah, especially you. You, he the MVP. Every time I heard Megami, bro. 
Dang, bro, you a channel, she grew her hair She turned into a dime immediately. <laughs> ah, there go Toru's mom again. Bro, Toru's mom was like one of a kind. I hate that we need a chance to. We see parts of her, bro, and it sucks. I just want to see her like. I bet Megan me be macking though, bro. Like her little brother be around all these older bro. I bet dudes like bro got it made. But this episode was amazing, bro. Getting Hannah's backstory really, really gave me insight to who she really is. I see. I believe that she she didn't have superpowers. See, she come come to find out she has powers, and not only powers, but she didn't know how to control them. Her backstory was very sad. I mean, people bu people bullied her, shunned her, all the way to the point where she had to transfer schools. But that was like the best thing that could have possibly happened for her because when she transfers transfer schools, she met Toru and Yuo Chan. And, Yuo, and they like welcomed her with open arms. Like when I say, I say this like just out of just me telling you guys, find the people that you that really cares about you once you and it don't have to be a lot of people it could be one or two people bro it could be one and just hold on to them because you won't find a better relationship like that like once you find that person that cares about you to the foot like i ain't saying just relationship I'm just friendships relationships it, it don't matter just find it and hold on to it because them the people that when everything goes wrong they'll be there for you like you seen that bro it's amazing. It gets it gets optimized in anime to an extent where you know, but still though, bro, it, it, that's the type of friendship you want. People that don't judge just just accept. You know what I mean? And that's it, bro. I enjoyed this episode a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button. And also, guys, we're currently at nine hundred ninety subscribers. So if you you fuck with the videos, hit that subscribe button. I just need seven more to one K, so without further ado, so that can anime and I'm out. Peace.